My name is Holden Bonwit and I live in Squamish. A couple of years ago, I got the idea to start looking at our actual environmental footprint within our family. And one of the biggest areas that jumped out at me was our transportation footprint. And it became very clear quickly that moving to an electric vehicle was one of the biggest, most impactful things I could do to minimize our negative environmental footprint. Driving an EV is fantastic because you never have to visit a gas station, but that's really a little thing. The big thing is at the end of the day, you know you're not polluting the environment as much. I'm lucky enough to have a new baby at home, and that means I split my time. Some days I drive down into Vancouver to visit with clients for my consulting business. Other days I drive to the trailhead around Squamish, Whistler, or down to Vancouver and back, and the electric vehicle has never let me down. And what excites me even more is that this trend is just continuing. Um, there's more and more chargers coming out, there's better and better cars coming out, and prices are coming down. When we talk about electric vehicle affordability, there's two elements. First of all is recharging your car versus filling with petrol. And that's already dimes on the dollar cheaper to use an electric car than a gas one. But I know the upfront cost is still high for a lot of people. I think if you look at the cost of a lot of technologies over time, they do come down. Think about a cell phone. It used to be a huge brick that only people put in their fancy BMWs, and now almost everyone has one, and some kids have smartphones. The same thing is happening with electric vehicles. If you look at the total cost of ownership over the life of the vehicle, an electric vehicle could actually be much less expensive. So I would say if you're even considering an EV, go for a test drive and try it out, and you might just be one over.